Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How is capital gains calculated on sale of property? Capital gains refer to the profit made from selling a property. This calculation involves several factors that determine the taxable amount. First, you need to establish the property's basis. The basis is usually the purchase price, plus any significant improvements made to the property. Next, you should account for any selling expenses. These expenses can include real estate commissions, legal fees, and closing costs. Once you have the basis and selling expenses, you calculate the net selling price. This is the final sale price minus any selling expenses. The capital gain is then determined by subtracting the adjusted basis from the net selling price. If the result is positive, you have a capital gain. It is important to note that there are different types of capital gains. Short-term capital gains apply to properties held for one year or less. Long-term capital gains apply to properties held for more than one year. The tax rate on capital gains may vary based on your income level and the duration of property ownership. Understanding exemptions is also crucial. For instance, homeowners may qualify for the primary residence exclusion, which can significantly reduce taxable gains. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.